Alright, here's how to play Granny 3 on PC fast and easy. Stick around until the end, I'll also show you how to set up the controls for a better experience. First, search for Google Play Games on Windows in your browser, and head to the official site. Then click the download button to get the installer. This tool is Google's official app that lets you run Android games on your Windows machine, with built-in support for keyboard, mouse, and even gamepad. Once the installer downloads, run it. You can change the install location if needed, or leave it as default and click install. It'll begin setting up the required files. Just give it a moment. When it finishes, the app will open automatically. At launch, sign in with your Google account. Then either create a gamer profile or select one if you've already set it up. Accept the terms and conditions to move on. Next, you'll be asked about sharing usage data. This is optional. I usually skip that part, but it's your call. Choose what feels right and click finish. Now you're inside the main app. On the right-hand side, use the search bar and type in Granny 3. Select it from the results. You'll notice an untested label. That simply means the game hasn't officially been validated to run on PC yet. It might have minor bugs or performance quirks, but in most cases, it works perfectly fine. So go ahead and click Install to begin. Decide if you want a desktop shortcut. Wait for the download to finish, and then click Play. Let's make a few quick tweaks to make gameplay smoother. For starters, to toggle full screen, just press F11. Next, click the visual settings icon on the right panel. Here, you can lower the resolution for better performance or adjust the pointer size. You can also cap the frame rate if your system is struggling. The default controls aren't great since movement requires clicking virtual buttons on screen with your mouse. To fix that, open the game controls panel from the right, then click edit at the top. From there, drag the joystick overlay onto the on-screen movement area, then assign directions to your keyboard, like WASD for movement. For more functionality, you can add tap buttons for actions, like crouch or interact. Just drag them into position and assign a key. This setup gives you full control using the keyboard instead of awkward mouse taps. And that's it. Granny 3 now runs great on your PC with proper key controls and full screen support. If you found this guide helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.